Okay, to bind the either the uh, Turnagi or the Ishin IA6, as you can see, they're both exactly the same units. It's just rebadged to the I6, whether it's an Ishin or Turnagi again. You need some power and you need a bind plug. You actually need a bind plug. I'll show you how we get around that just in case you haven't got one. You tend to get them uh, with the receivers, but if you and you probably wonder what on earth it is. If you don't get one, don't worry about it too much. All we need to do, and all this does, is just create a short from this terminal here around to this terminal here. So on the first bank of uh, terminals, it's it basically misses the middle one, but it creates a short across those two. So on this particular one, we just simply pop it in like that, and then to connect the power up, we simply use the balance port, so it's not going to give it too much power. We pop that into there, which again fits really well. And I'm just going to try and wedge this so that you can see it on the camera a bit easier. Hopefully that will show. There we go. And then we come over to the uh, transmitter itself. We hold down the bind uh, button, turn the power on, and instead of the fast pulse that you got, it's now gone down to a nice slow pulse. Let go of the bind button, take the power off of the receiver, take off the bind plug, put the power back on the receiver, and as you can see, we've got the slow pulse now. And as you can see, we've got the uh, battery charge, and uh, it shows that it's connected. You will get this flashing happen, uh, but you can see it's bound because the lights are constant red now. Mm -hmm.